Hey everyone, this is Jason from My First Tech Academy. Today we're going to be going over Advanced Menu Version 2 on the Blade AL. All right, here's where we're going to grab the Advanced Menu Version 2 menu system. What we're going to do is hover over Support. We're going to go down to Support Links. And we're going to look for Advanced Menu Version 2. We're going to click More Info. What this is, is this is a PDF that's designed through the menus to walk you through exactly how to do this in the vehicle. But what we're gonna do is, because of the video that we're shooting, I'm gonna show you how to walk through each individual menu by itself. So if we scroll down, you're gonna see menu one, menu two, and menu three Right here. Here's menu one. In this menu, you can actually turn on options from the blade, such as disarm and unlock before start, relock after start, relock after shutdown, and the most popular one is force unlock all on first press. Menu two is gonna give us the ability to enable specific features of the system. So let's say you wanna turn off trunk release because it's something that's covered in data. However, your shop charges extra. You can turn this off. Very simple to do it through the blade. You can also disable sliding doors. You can disable parking lights if they're covered in data. You can also disable horn honk. Menu three gives a status reported by the module to the remote start. If you don't want e-brake status or you don't want brake status, you may not even want door status. These can all be turned off individually in the blade. One of the most popular ones in menu three is OEM remote status. This is where the blade is looking for the OEM lock or unlock and enabling the CompuStar unit to actually lock, unlock, arm and disarm via the factory remote. So a setting we normally get to, and this actually is quite common, is they wanna unlock all the doors with one press of the remote. Obviously you can do this on the computer, but let's say your computer doesn't work or you don't have access to it right now. What we need to do is go to our advanced menu version two Blade AL, and what we're gonna do is go to menu one, number four. And the way we do that, once the module's programmed, if you were to simply hold the button until it comes on blue solid, what this is telling us is we're in advanced menus. We're gonna tap it once for menu one. We're gonna get a solid blue blink one time. That's designating menu one. Now we're gonna enter into menu one by holding the button again until it flashes red or comes on red. What we need to do is find our setting, which is number four. So we're gonna tap the button four times. One, two, three, four. And we're gonna wait. Now we have four red flashes. So now we're in menu one, number four. We're gonna lock that in by holding it till it turns blue again. And now it's gonna give us a single flash or double flash. As per the instructions, single flash means disabled. Double flash would be enabled. So we're gonna tap it once to give us the double flash. Once we've changed the setting, all we need to do is hold down the button until it flashes red rapidly and let go. At that point, we have now exited the advanced menus. Let's try it. Lock, all doors lock, unlock. Now we've got both doors have unlocked or actually all doors have unlocked at this point with a single press of the button. Here's one of the other features that's very common we get 
uh, phone calls for and tech support. OEM remote status. How do you turn it off? Super simple. We're gonna take the blade and we're gonna go into the advanced menu. We're gonna press and hold the button to lock in the menus. So it's gonna turn solid blue. Now this feature is in menu three. So we're gonna tap it three times. One, two, three. We're gonna wait for three blue flashes, which we have. Now that we're gonna lock in menu three, we're gonna hold down the button. It's gonna light up red. In menu three, this is gonna be number nine. So we're gonna tap this button nine times. We have nine red flashes. That means we're in the right section. So now we're gonna lock this in and it's gonna turn solid blue. So OEM remote status, look at that, it's flashing blue twice. That means it's enabled, but we wanna shut it off. So all we're gonna do is tap the button once, we're gonna get the single blue flash this time. Once we have that set, all we have to do is press and hold the button till it blinks rapidly red and now we've exited programming at this point with this feature the oem remote will not work anything to do with the CompuStar system at this point <laughs>